The first thing I would like to address is the issue of these parades in Belfast. Although it's outside our remit. But I'd just like to try and draw something to people's attention. How the Republican movement works. We've seen the disgraceful behaviour in Ardoin where them thugs came out and attacked the orange men and a band um, because they said they had no right to walk on the Queen's Highway. But anyway, Sinn Féin them denies they had anything to do with it and there's nothing they can do to stop it. I would like to ask the representatives down there who have taken it upon themselves to go and speak to the terrorists who butchered that community for 35 odd years why are they speaking to people who can't do anything about it and can't stop it surely that's not the people that they need to be talking to it's the Trumps that are actually carrying out the attacks because Sinn Féin has made it quite clear uh, they're nothing to do with this and there's nothing they can do to stop it so why does people lower themselves to go to speak to the like of Martin McGuinness and Jerry Adams it's beyond me but then again I don't live in that part of the community or that part of the country uh, although I've spoken to people from there who are disgusted about the fact that people have to go and beg permission to walk up the road from Republicans but that's their business but it's just a point I would like to make that Sinn Féin say they have nothing to do with it or is it the case they have all to do with it and that's why these people are meeting them but anyway I want to move on to what um, I'm here to talk about and this is the whole issue of the Mays Prison. People are talking about this development uh, and how great it is and how many jobs it's going to bring to Northern Ireland. This development is the same idea, near enough, to what the football stadium was, which would have had the 2012 uh, part of the Olympics, perhaps in Northern Ireland. The reason why people didn't agree to it was because there was a shrine sitting around the corner and we didn't want visitors coming to Northern Ireland to be brought to a building where they cleaned their own dirt on the walls and threw it around themselves and lay on it. That's not a, a thing we want to show around the world that this is the type of people that uh, actually are now, some of them sitting in government who were involved in this, who rolled about in their own filth, who... Uh, wouldn't wear any clothes and actually writ on the walls using their own dirt. Now, if this shrine was not so important to the Republicans and indeed part of a deal to the government, why, for the good of everybody, these 6,000 jobs that they talk about we're going to have, knock it down and be finished with it. If you look at the prison in Germany, where they held uh, the Nazis after the Second World War, when the last one died in it, now this is the German people, when the last Nazi died in it, they flattened the jail, they hammered the bricks into dust, and they took them and dumped them at sea. That's what they thought of keeping a memory alive of what the Nazis did. But no, not in Northern Ireland. What do we do? We give it protection. We market as a listed building where people do things that pigs don't even do in their own bed but these people did it the reality is this may be a new build which is not far away from where this H block is being kept but this is a shrine to the hunger strikers to the people who starved themselves to death but most, most of all it's an insult to the people who were murdered outside and if you look at the history of these 10 individuals that was in there, most of them are no more than arsonists. We want to move on in this country. But we will not move on and allow the IRA to write the history. We're going to knock it down because we respect the people who paid the ultimate price in Northern Ireland for justice and for democracy. We owe them too much to allow this to remain. And we can say this to our politicians. We can't be bought because we owe it to our loved ones to stand for what they died for and we will not sell out. And the reason why people like me are doing what we're doing is that nobody but nobody will ever have to suffer again and that's why we will not allow the IRA 
to write the history, to glorify the mother of our people, because that's what this is all about. And we will bulldoze it for that reason. We have people coming to us from America, from Australia, from Spain, from all over the world. They're coming to us. A wee group stuck in South Armagh because they say by what they've seen and heard about us, they know that we're telling the truth and they want to know. They don't want to go to an artificial centre that's set up to tell some romantic idea about some tramp who became a gutless murder in the middle of the night who went out and killed women and children in the lake of Darkly Gospel Hall or in the Lamont. It wouldn't be allowed to happen in Southern Ireland. What is wrong with the people in Northern Ireland? Have we become so corrupt that we accept anything now? Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Or peace at any price? Well, we've paid the biggest price for peace. But it's a genuine peace we want. And we will not be intimidated by the government or any other representatives. Now, the other thing I would say here is they've been pumping money into certain organisations within the victim sector who had no victims within their organisation. We've been saying that for a number of years. And a matter of fact, one such group, let's say, who was getting as much funding as us, hadn't 40 victims. Well, at a push, maybe they had 40 genuine victims. They were getting the same amount of funding as we were with 3,500 victims. Now, that's what we're talking about when you talk about injustice or imbalance or discrimination. How are we expected to do the same with the amount of money that the, a group is getting for 40 victims as we were working with 3,500 victims? Well, we're still giving the people the service. Uh, not as good as what we want to give them, but we're still doing all we can for the people, and we're not going away. We're not going anywhere, and we are coming to bulldoze the maze. But hopefully some leader within our community will show leadership and will actually get this built and delisted and knocked down and show the people that they are prepared to stand up for what is right. Well, they can intimidate the politicians all they want, but they won't intimidate us. That's one thing I can guarantee you. Or people like us. Some of the people coming on the bulldozer. One woman is 84 years of age. Another woman rung me who lost her mother and father. She's coming as well. There is numerous people who said they're prepared to go to jail or even worse. To make sure that history is writ properly in Northern Ireland.